Hi guys, I'm back here at the shop. Um, I'm gonna try to knock out a nice easy repair, right? It's always gotta be a nice easy repair to start the day. I have a 2009 Winnebago Journey. This has a power gear leveling system on it. And uh, traditionally Winnebago used uh, HWH, but they did make a switch to power gear. Uh, here's a control panel right by the door. You can kind of see it right uh, there. So on HWH, they have jack down warning switches at each jack. Uh, with the Lippert power gear system, they just have a float switch in the uh, in the reservoir. So assume it assumes that if uh, there's fluids missing because a float float goes down, the jacks must be uh, extended or not stored all the way. What can happen is obviously the fluid level can be low. Uh, so when you're driving and you're turning, that float's going up and down, telling your system that the, the jacks are down when they're really not down, or the switch can go bad. Uh, I already have one video out about replacing the switch on uh, a vertical tank, but this is going to be on a horizontal tank, so it's a little bit different. I can put a link, uh, like a card, you know, those, how, how those professional YouTubers do it, uh, or put it in the description. But in all fairness, I've never once used those uh, links or descriptions because I watch on... Uh, my TV, but I'll still do it either way. So let's go ahead and do this horizontal float switch and take a look at it. All right, so here we go. There's a part number for you guys. It's one five one zero 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 seven zero. That seems like an awfully long part number to me, but I'm sure there's reasons for it. So here it is. Here's this switch. This one's sits in the tank just like this and it's got this little donut on here that goes up and down now, i think they might have redesigned this because this this donut is a lot bigger than it used to be so maybe that was getting rid of problems too so this just has a little uh magnetic switch within here that opens and closes as this uh donut floats up and down in the uh in the tank so let's go ahead and check it real fast all right so i just have the multimeter set up for uh what is that resistance right there and so let's see just have those in the connectors there we go and then if i were to uh, sorry about that so we have continuity there if i flip it upside down so it would be full it goes open closed open so that's how it works let's go ahead and take a look at where this goes now Winnebago's are generally made pretty nicely for servicing. So what they did years before this 2009 is they started putting the HWH pump right here. So you can get pretty good access to it. Monaco put it right there, but they didn't give you good access. So right here, you just need a half inch socket and there's a nut right here. Now all you do is take that nut off and this whole step's gonna hinge up. This unit was actually here because it had a basement AC problem. This is the outside blower motor. I did make a video on that one. And I'm sorry about that because I'm sure a lot of people would have had questions on that one. All right, so nuts off. Now this whole thing just hinges up. Bam. Look at that. Pumps right there. There's the float switch. All we have to do is disconnect that. All right. There's this uh, nut right there. You just have to loosen that up. Works just like those vertical switches. You just have a grommet and this nut tightens up against that grommet. So let's go ahead and I guess undo that. And of course the good news, this one's not directional. It just sits in there. However, it sits in there. My customer was just complaining that this was, uh, the jacks were going off periodically driving down the road. Um, you can check the fluid level right here. But of course, when you check the fluid level, you got to make sure all your uh, jacks are retracted. Because if you check it with the jacks uh, extended, obviously you're going to be low on fluid. But it's really easy to see how full on fluid we are right there. Alright, so push that down. Get the uh, grommet out of the way there. I went the wrong way with that grommet. Give me a second. Right. 
So pull that grommet out. And then there's the... Uh, the old switch right there. I don't know if it just wears out. The magnet gets stuck. Let's see. Had a, a line of magnetic dust or a iron filings from the pump motor. Probably stuck on the magnet there. But there it is, really the exact same thing. Putting the other one in is just everything in reverse. Might as well clean this part off, right? Loosen that guy up, take the nut and the washer. And we're gonna slide that down in place. Basically force that switch down in the into the fluid. And it's got a, a, a grommet on it, so it's a split grommet. We want that split just to go onto the plastic tank. So let me pull it back up. Don't pull too hard on the wires, obviously. Let me just tighten it back up. You could use a wrench, or you can use some pliers. It's just a plastic nut, so you don't want to go too hard on it. And like I said, unlike the vertical sensor, you don't have to worry about where that's pointing. So if I were to look up our meters right now, let's see what it might be saying. Alright, so I got that hooked up. We should be open. And we're open. So I guess. So that's replacing it. Now we just have to, have to test it out. Uh, I'll get this thing started, get the batteries going. Uh, but since just as a uh, good information. Uh, you're trying not to go on a trip and this is just driving you insane it, it reads the tank as being full uh, if there's an open all you should have to do is un disconnect that uh that sensor and then the uh, the system would think that it's full all the time so you wouldn't have that sensor going off driving down the road of course don't you know stay with it like that because you might forget and your jacks are down when you're trying to move so don't do that uh power gear does have a, a feature though if the jacks are down and you do put the unit into drive or take the park brake off, it should retract the jacks. I don't ever recommend doing that because even moving just a, like a fraction of an inch can bend your jacks. And it does take some time for those jacks to retract before they're off the ground. But that is one of those fail safes and without the sensor, it wouldn't know the jacks are down so you wouldn't have that feature. Um, let's go ahead and try this out. All right, so the engine has to be running for this to work on these power gears. And unfortunately, the uh, batteries on this motorhome aren't holding the charge very well. But luckily, I had my forklift right there. So what I'm going to do is go ahead, just like it says, engine running. So I'm going to turn it on. So I don't have a jack down warning light, so I know that that's working. So we go ahead and hit auto. And we'll come off the airbags. Pump's running. Jack down light is not on yet. Looks like the uh, rear jack's going down first. All right, I got a jack down warning light now. And of course, this just indicates the right side of the motor. The right side of the motorhome is the low side. We're going to wait until the green light comes on. That'll mean it's level. Alright, so all the jacks are down now. Right side's still a little low. Look at that, green light's on. And we're done. That was simple. 
So the system's working great. I don't see any leaks. Now I just go ahead and hit retract all jacks. It's gonna put air in the airbags and start retracting the jacks. They're going back up. And wait for that light to go out. That jack down, warning lights out. So I think this system's pretty good. Only thing that we might want to check, right? Let me go ahead and turn this off and back on again. I'm gonna do this, do this in manual mode. To do manual mode, push and hold manual for about five seconds. And that green light should turn on, or the yellow light underneath should turn on. All right, so it's gonna come off the airbag still. So now we're in manual mode. Now I can use these buttons independently. I'm gonna put the jacks down. All right, so I'm doing the front jacks. I wanna do that until that jack down warning light goes off. All right, there, it's off now. So now I just want to see, if you did have that audible alarm, if you were to unplug this. And look at that, the jack down warning light went out. So that would be an emergency repaired, so you don't have to listen to that buzzing driving down the road. Of course now we got the light back on. Now I just have to hit retract. Oh, this is in manual mode, so you have to push and hold that button down. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off and turn it back on. Now I'll push the retract. Now it'll uh, air up the airbags and let the jacks back up. All right, and so with all that done, all I have to do now is close that back up, put this nut back on, and this job is finished. All right, guys, so there you have it, changing out the uh, float switch on a power gear leveling system uh horizontal tank mount not a vertical but a horizontal uh, that was on a winnebago a 2009 winnebago journey but any horizontal lipper tank or yeah power gear tank will be very similar it just might be uh, where it's located be a difficult thing to get to uh hope that helps somebody out bye